The new Batman movie is just around the corner, and based on the trailers, I think it looks pretty promising. It has a really nice dark and greedy style, which I think looks awesome. So in this video, I will show you how you can copy this style into your own photos by using Lightroom. Now which type of images will work with this style? It's going to work best with dark photos, but even better if there is only one single light source, such as an open fire, or a light bulb, or a sunset. Now let's move over to Lightroom. We're going to use this screenshot from the trailer as the reference for our edit. If we look at the reference image, this could be a pretty quick edit, since the color grading that they use takes out more or less all colors except for yellow and maybe a little bit orange. So we don't have to spend so much time to find the right hue for each color in the HSL panel. I will show you this later when we get there. Okay, let's start with the tones. Since it's a dark style, we will be keeping the tone sliders on the lower end and the blacks should be moved so that it's just below the point where you can't see the details in the shadows anymore. If we look at the reference image, we can see that there's quite a lot of contrast here, so we're going to increase the highlights and the whites just a little bit. We're going to add some more contrast into the photo by using the contrast slider. And for this particular photo, we're going to reduce the exposure to around minus 0.5. But keep in mind that the exposure might have to be adjusted depending on the photo that we copy this edit into. The white balance looks fine for now, I think. So we're just going to leave it to where it is. Somewhere around 7200. Okay, so here we are in the color grading panel and we're going to start with the shadows and use the color picking tool here to pick out the right color in our reference photo. Now when we look in the shadows, it's difficult to see what color it actually is. But once we use the color picking tool, we can see that it's in fact a mix between orange and red. So we're going to pick somewhere around this point and right now it looks way too red. So I'm going to reduce the saturation quite a bit here. Moving over to midtones, we're going to do the same thing, but now we pick a color here somewhere on the bridge. This gives us a pretty good guess on where in the color we we're going to be, but we might still have to adjust the hue and the saturation. And in this case, I think we want to move it a little bit more towards yellow and also increase the saturation so we get some more color in there. And then we finally move over here to highlights and basically do the same thing again. Pick here in the sun. Here we want to move it closer to yellow once again. And I think we can crank up the saturation a lot here actually, just to get this really strong yellow shine. And already we can see that this looks pretty good actually. The next step in our color grading is to move over here to the HSL panel. And this is what I mentioned earlier in the video that since we don't have that many colors in our reference image besides yellow, orange and black, we don't have to adjust the hue sliders that much here in this panel. The only thing we want to do here in the panel is to move the greens towards yellow. We basically want to avoid to have any other colors popping up besides yellow and orange. Based on what it looks like right now in our edit, I think it looks pretty good. But if you want to take it one step further, then we would have to look into the other colors that don't exist in our photo. Like I said earlier in the video, the colors that are most prominent in this style is yellow and orange. So what we want to do here is to reduce the saturation of all the colors except for these two. But to save you some time, I have already figured out before recording this video how much the different colors need to be reduced in saturation. And you can see the exact values right here. Saturation is the only thing that is affected, so hue and luminance can be left as they are. Before we start looking into before and after photos where I applied this edit, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you thought this video was useful. Okay, enough self-promotion, let's move over and have a look at how this style looks on some other photos. Let me know if you have any other movies that you want me to cover in the future, and I will try to make a tutorial for it in an upcoming video.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.